please give a warm welcome for, to Mary. Hello, everyone. Uh, good morning. I'm excited to be here. It's my first time in Mombasa, Kenya, as a whole. And it's wonderful to see so many faces. Great to be here. Um, so uh, my name is Mary Job. I guess you already know that. I run How Do You Tech. Uh, it's a tech research agency. And um, I also have a nonprofit where we teach young girls how to get into tech. Um, I also am the co-organizer for the Lagos and the Jebu WordPress community. Lagos, majorly, but then I live in a Jebu, so how would I go to Lagos and not have the WordPress community in my village? I live in the village, by the way, so. Yes, two cities. Um, we also had our first word camp in Lagos this year, uh, and we have another le next year. I'm also the lead organizer for that, so I'm happy to be here. Are we all happy to be here? We are. Awesome. Okay, so um, I'm here to talk about my topic. WordPress is the easiest way to get into tech. Anybody wants to dispute that before we begin? We all, how many of us know about WordPress? Because I know somebody just asked, um, what is a WordCamp? We all do, like 90%, right? Okay, so does anybody want to dispute this? Like, do you think it's flawed? Like, is it 100% right? Or 90, 80, anyone? All right, so we'll say 90. Okay, let me, let me not be generous. We'll say 70%, maybe. All right. Uh, first of all, I want us to do away with the notion that tech is for a certain, um, certain, it's for certain people. How many of us here use Facebook? How many of us use Facebook? How many people you, here use Impesa? Okay, because um, when I wanted to buy my train ticket, I noticed you can't do it without a Safaricom line. And what I got was an Airtel Kenyan. So everybody here uses Impesa because it seems to be like the main form of payment, right? So you don't think you're into tech already? Like you use Impesa. To use Impesa, it's technical. Like you press this code, you press that code. You're already into tech. I say this because when people say, oh, I'm into tech, you know, the thing that comes into your head is that picture right there. Am I right? When somebody says I'm into tech, you, you just automatically think this person must be a serious programmer, right? Writing codes. But that's not true. Like we all use Facebook, Twitter, email. I know some people don't like social media. I have some friends who are not on social media. But you use an email or a webmail. You said something. You use an email, you use a web mail, you're into tech. Like, tech is for everyone. Okay, so back when I was in high school, uh, it's customary when you finish secondary school, they send you to a skill, a school, a place to learn some skill before you go into the university. I remember back then, what was common was a secretarial school. Is it the same year? Like, after secondary school, after high school, do you go straight to college or you go do something in between? College. Okay, so back home, uh, Nigeria, I think I speak for majority. You go to, like, because it, like, you're too young to go to straight to college, right? So if you're not 19 or 18, you're not good. Back then, now it's changed. A lot of parents put, send kids 16 straight to university. But back then, you have to go to a middle school to learn a skill. So it used to be a secretarial school. But now, everybody wants to send their kids to a computer school. Like, go, go learn, go learn uh, Microsoft Word or something. Why? Can anybody tell me why? Like, why do you think they do that now? Do we, are we starting to agree that we're all into tech? I want a hundred, in fact, I want, a, I want 1,000% agreement by the time we're done. Right. Um, everybody sitting here, reading, watching, tweeting, Facebooking, whatever, you're into tech. We are all into tech. There is no such thing as tech is for a particular group of people. So, how do you do tech with WordPress? I think I'm going to skip a little. Uh, what do you want to achieve with tech and how? I need answers to proceed. 
like everybody here, like what would, what do you want to do with tech? Like it could be to get to get an email, like you said. I need answers, please. What do you want to do with? Okay, why are we here? Yeah. Sorry, let me introduce myself. My name is Mustafa. I'm from Mombasa. Nice to meet you. Yeah, uh, me personally, yeah. uh, my aim with tech is to become a blogger and uh, make the world a better place with my blogging. With your help post, help yeah. people spread information. So when I leave this world, I, at least it's slightly better than when I found it. That's, awesome. That's Great. <laughs> One person should give us an answer. Any answer? Someone please give, yes, any answer. Like why, why are you here? Why do you want to go into tech more? Just tell us, it could be anything, yeah. We want to know more about technology. You want to know more about tech, awesome. I'm asking you because, because somebody out there is always watching when you put out your posts. How many people here have a blog? I know I have a blog. <laughs> so um, I used to blog. I tried Blogger, I tried, uh, there's this one. I tried so many platforms. You know the way, who, who has used Blogger before? Like that platform is just there, like, you know, it's just, it's uninspiring, you don't even want to write. That's a fact. Um, the most I got when I was using Blogger is one like from a friend that is concerned, like, you know, let me, let me just like her post, like just one like, you know. That was the most I got. Then in 2015, I was in Ghana. I was in my IT for my master's program. And uh, my cousin said, why are you not blogging on, on WordPress? And I'm like, no, I don't want to use that application. It's too complicated. Have you seen the interface? Like, I don't even understand what is going on right there. You know, and he says, did you take a course? Like, did you try to learn before you just, or you just registered an account and you expect to automatically understand what is going on there? I said, of course, I just registered for an account. I just want to write. I'm not interested in all the technicalities involved. So he gave me some videos and said, you know what, go watch. After two weeks of watching those videos, I ran and then moved my blog, exported from Blogger and then moved to WordPress. And when I did that, within three months, I made friends. I made friends from far and out. My post has a lot of likes. What I Whenever I put out a post, it has comments. Like I was inspired to keep writing. That's what WordPress did for me. So I like to tell people, uh, WordPress found me when I was roaming the internet, because I believe I was roaming prior to that. <laughs> I mean, I was in tech, but I was roaming. I didn't know where I fitted in. WordPress gave me a place to fit in. Now, that's for me owning a blog. And it was a free blog. It was, was maryjob.wordpress.com. Because people have this notion that, oh, I, if I start using WordPress, like, you know, I have to be maryjob.com, I don't know. How do we feel about that? Like, would you go for a free domain as opposed to a paid domain? Who would go for a free domain? Trust me, like I said, somebody somewhere is always watching and observing your posts. You know, today when employers want to employ, you know, they go through your social media profiles. When somebody wants to work with you, they go through them. Are we aware? They do. Somebody sends me a friend request on Facebook. I first go to the person's timeline and I look at everything. Red flag, red flag, reject. Yeah, because it almost uh, goes with this saying, like, you are what you have around you. <laughs> so if I say things that I don't agree with on your timeline, why should we be friends or follow each other? It might be things that are offensive, all right, so let me continue my story uh, from the free blog. So I got a message from this woman in the UK. She said, I like how your blog looks. It's on WordPress, right? Uh, do you mind redesigning our website for us? I'm like, oh, so you can use WordPress to build a website. This is interesting. I didn't know that. So I thought, you know what? Yes, sure, why not? And then I started Googling, troubleshooting. Now, do you see the trend here? I started from where? <laughs> From a, from, a, from, from, a, from a free domain. From a free domain. I'm, I was still on a free domain, even after a year, why taking that job? I was still on a free domain. So I started from roaming the internet, and then to blogging on WordPress, and now somebody's asking me to build a website. 
I'm naturally curious, so of course I wanted to know how to do it. So I started troubleshooting. So how do you be like, okay, I didn't even know there was such a thing as self-hosting. Like self-hosting, what's that? I started reading up, she gave me access to their website, I started digging in, learning all I could learn about it. And I was able to fix a site for her. In fact, she had to convince the board in the UK, like, look, the person we gave the job to here isn't doing a very good job at all. We hardly are able to reach it. So why can't we give it to somebody out there who's available and has fixed our problems for us? So that was my first job building a website, or redesigning a website. Of course, I wanted to learn more, so I, you know, I think my first job, I took $10 to build the website. <laughs> Yes, the first, yeah, the first website I ever did. Yeah, because I didn't know anything. You know, I, I won't charge 1,000 when I don't know anything. It doesn't make sense. Now I do take 1,000 and above. I don't take below 1,000, but then, like I build based on how I feel like I'm competent enough to build. So I went from that, I was still on a free domain, by the way. It was still marriagejob.wordpress.com. And this is why, because I started using WordPress. Maybe if I had gone a different route, I probably wouldn't have discovered that. Now we have one common goal. Everybody wants to be reachable online. Like if you have a local shop here where you sell this T-shirt, if you were online, would you achieve? Would you have? Would you achieve more reach? Do you think you would have more reach if you put those T-shirts online? Yes, right. Who picks up their phone when they wake up first thing in the morning? <laughs> I mean, even the Bible app is on the phone, so if you say you want to pray, just use the app, right? Where's the first place you go to to get information today? Google, right? Google is my favorite. Like if I met you right now and you told me your name, as you're telling me your name, I'm typing it into Google and putting plus, something that you say you do to see if I can find you online. Because that's where people are able to reach you. And WordPress gives you the easiest way to be rich. Because you can have a blog, like you want. You can have a website or you can have an application built with it. And you can do this either by paying somebody or learning how to do it yourself. And trust me, learning how to use WordPress is easy. It's easy when you take the time to actually learn. Like you want to use WordPress. Don't just jump into it and start using it. That's not fair, right? I mean, if you had a webmail, you would want to understand how it works. So it's the same thing with this one. If you buy a microwave, you would read the instruction manual, isn't it? So it's the same. You, you read the instruction manual to understand what you're trying to achieve, and you do that. Do we agree that it's still the easiest way to get into tech? Not everybody can afford to pay a developer to build a site for them. Like, it's, it's become crazily expensive these days. And the sad part is, if you're not careful, you pay somebody who is a newbie, somebody that just started and wants to collect 1000 from you. I said I started with $10, isn't it? In fact, one woman contacted me recently, she said she wants to be the site. She was among the first people I collected $10. So she was like, Mary, so, so time. You collected, I said, how many years ago was that? Am I, do I look the same way I did when I collected 10 from you? So why do you want me to collect 10 from you? You know I won't collect 10 from you. Okay, because you're my friend, maybe I'll take 500. <laughs> and she's still like, Mary. I said, yeah, but you've seen my works. That's why you came back to me, right? Because for me, I keep telling people, when you want to go into business or you want to do anything, um, start free and then climb your way up. Why? Let me give you this case study. So somebody comes and says, I want to start an SEO, digital marketing agency. I'm like, okay, that's great. Uh, I've almost finished the website. Okay, that's great. What about the clients? Um, but it's a new business. I don't have the clients yet. I'm like, okay. Uh, what about marketing? Well, I'm thinking of putting 100,000 into Facebook ads. What do you think is going to happen to that person's business? It's going to go down <laughs> fast, right? And I keep telling people, like, Use what you have to get what you want. That line is not by me, it's by John Obede. One dude in Lagos, it's not my line. Use what you have to get what you want. So use WordPress to get to where you want. You want a store, right? Maybe you sell footwears. You want a store. You want to reach more people. You can have a store on WordPress, isn't it? How much does it cost to buy a domain name? 
1,500. That's uh, about how much in US? That's about 10, 15, yeah, 12, between 10 and 15. How much does it cost to host these days? For hosting and, oh, for hosting and domain. How much is that in Kenyan shillings? How much would you pay somebody to do all that for you? 25 to 30 dollars. So how much did you just save yourself by doing it yourself? How much did you just save? 15. We haven't talked about the process of actually building. And this, this, the manual is there, it's online. Like you can find it anywhere. Now we've talked about how to use WordPress to get into blogging, right? Just start with a free domain. If you're a student, start blogging about your interests. If you, are, if you work for someone, uh, you can also still blog about your job. Well, not the sensitive parts. You can still blog about your job or blog about your interests as well. You know, back in the day when our parents were growing up, having one source of livelihood was fine, right? It's either you're a doctor, lawyer, engineer, any one of those things, right? But this days is crazy, the pressure is real. If you say you want to be a programmer, then they say, which one? You want to code Python, Java, Rails, which one? Or you want to be a full stack? Even if you're a full stack, you still can't learn all the languages. I mean, if you don't want to, who's, who's a developer here? All the developers in the house. Approximately how many languages are there available in programming? How many? Rough guess. Just rough, rough estimate. Maybe I'd say about 20 plus. 20 plus. How many do you use, do you write? About five. Five. And I'm sure it's very good, right? The first time I tried JavaScript, I almost went crazy. I went to look for the equivalent of Ugali. After 24 hours, that's how I felt, because I was like, what is this? Why am I here? Okay, what exactly am I doing here? That's how I felt. So I can imagine what it means to know five languages. I can't imagine, really, I can't imagine. It must be really hard. If you say you want to be a social media person, then the next question is, is it Facebook, Pinterest, Snapchat? Who is Snapchat? I don't understand that platform <laughs> at all. <laughs> I downloaded it and I asked myself, what am I doing here? Like my snaps kept disappearing, so I'm supposed to keep up, you know, but some people use it to sell their business, it works for them. So you, you can't even be a social media person in peace. You still have to learn like how to do this. The career options these days are seriously, seriously confusing. You can't do one thing. But what I do tell people, because you can't do everything, is to pick two or three, at least, sorry, at most, two or three, and then be the best you can in those areas. There's no point trying to be everything, trying to do everything. It doesn't make sense. You might just end up depressed. Now we have a rate of depression. How many of our parents were depressed back in those days? I doubt they, they got depressed. But now you see a 20 year old, uh, 25, 16, they tell you they are under so much pressure. Why do you think that is that way? Anybody? Why? Rough answer. Yes, please. Take example. Let me take example of, of India. India, yeah. Okay. Uh, from what I know, like every guy is supposed to be an engineer. Mm -hmm. Every so it's like yes, the parents. The parents. It's it's like it's like kind of a saw movie once. Okay. And there was this guy, and he wanted to be a wildlife photo, wildlife photographer. Mm -hmm. But his dad wanted to say, no, this 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 occupation. Oh, the movie Three Idiots. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's That's my exactly, favorite exactly, yeah. movie. Yeah. So you see, there's this kind of pressure from the parents that no, this thing doesn't make money. What will you do in this profession? Exactly. But what I believe, you mm. should follow your passion. F follow you your passion. Yeah. Yes. If you feel this for you, go for it. My mom will come every day like, I'm, I'm at work. So, but you're in the sitting room. Yes, I'm at work. You know, they don't get remote working. Like whoever thought remote working was going to be the thing now. But it all boils down to, to one thing, right? We all want to put ourselves out there. Some people don't because of their job, I understand. But majority of us want to put ourselves out there. And WordPress offers you the best way to do it. 
if you have an interest or passion, you can blog about it. In fact, I think everybody should be a blogger. Do you know Facebook, uh, Twitter, and the likes are actually blogging platforms as well? Yes, they are. It's called microblogging. Those are microblogging platforms. Short snippets, short snippets. But with WordPress, you can put everything up. You can have a page about me. If you sell something, you can put it there. If you want to have a store, you can achieve that with a self-hosted site at little or no cost if you're willing to put in the time to read the instruction manual, right? If you want an application, you can also do it. Okay, maybe with a little help from a developer now. <laughs> Yeah, because to get to that stage, then you definitely need help. Or you need to put in more time to read all the instruction manuals, which might take time, depending on what you want to achieve. But for the basic things of the basic idea of putting yourself out there, you can do that easily with a WordPress blog. Is it possible to go on the, on the internet here? Like, I want to show my blog here. So, why won't you use WordPress? That's not me, by the way. Maybe I should have made an emoji of me screaming. So why won't you use WordPress? Anybody? Who isn't using WordPress? OK, let me ask. Who is not using WordPress right now to do any of those three things I listed? Yeah, OK, I had no, no, no knowledge about WordPress. But personally, before last one year ago, I opened an account with the WordPress. But I had, OK, I didn't have more information about WordPress. That's why I stopped blogging from it. That's why I came here. I come here for getting no, more knowledge about the WordPress. Awesome. Have you been able to get anything so far? Oh, I, I just left the account. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do you want to do when you leave here? Yeah, okay. I'll, from personally, when I, I leave here, at the, at the end of the, this session, I'll be able to know about the WordPress more. So you're willing to read the instruction manual? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Very willing much. to make use of it the yeah, best way possible? Exactly. Awesome. Yeah. I saw like five hands when I asked, don't hide. Why are you not using WordPress? Yeah. It was kind of confusing for me at first. I didn't know how to use it, so just stopped. Okay. What about now? Do you think you can do something with it? Yeah, I can. What do you plan to do with it? Well, first I'll start with blogging. Then next, I'm kind of a little bit interested in web development, so I'll grow myself from there. So you're curious like me, yay. I do tell my, by the way, everybody thinks I'm a developer. I have nothing to do with computer science or computer science. It was philosophy, mass communication, uh, information management, knowledge management. I don't have anything to, it's, for me, it was a passion. Like I've been on the internet since 2002. I used to spend my nights in cyber cafes. Not alone, of course. I would pay for two of my friends, guys, so that, because I was always the only woman in a cyber cafe and it felt really weird. Of course, it was not safe to be there alone, so I would pay for them. You guys are going to the cyber cafe with me tonight. And then I would spend my entire night there. And which is why I said, for me, WordPress gave me a place to fit in. You see, like I was roaming in, what did I not do? Freelance, Upwork, uh, it was Elance. Um, I think Ops, um Ob something is the name of the platform that I used to blog. I did so many things, virtual assistant. This, in fact, on one occasion, my mom followed me to the ATM. She said, I want to see if this thing you do really pays you. Like, I don't get the concept at all. <laughs> no, she went with me like, I had a payoneer card. Who here uses payoneer? Because in Africa, it's difficult to get payments, especially when you work for foreigners, right? So payoneer makes it easy. And she was like, I want to see if money is going to come out from that card truly. <laughs> So, we all agree that WordPress has a solution for us, right? Be it blogging, be it um, programming, be it uh, setting up a store, selling your services, talking about the things you do, it has a solution for you. So why won't you use it? Okay, I think now we agree that we're going to use it, right? To do something. If you're a student, you're studying the um, you're in high school, you're going to college. Like I have um, two students in my orb who just finished high school. I like to teach, so uh, that space was supposed to be an office space, but I'm like, I don't even work from the office. I work from my room or my sitting room, so why not just make this into a orb for young ladies who want to find their way into tech? Because when they go to college and they give you assignments, how are you going to do your assignments if you don't know how to use your computer? Who knows about Google Scholar? 
What do you use Google Scholar for? What do you use it for? Uh, you can use it for getting some reference when you're writing maybe an article or something. Great. Are you guys aware about that? You know, in high school, like the, like the teacher doesn't care where you get your answers uh, from most of the time. It's not relevant. But when you get into college, you can't just write and then submit. There has to be a reference. How do you, you, how do you get a reference? You use Google Scholar, scholar.google.com. That's where you find all academic articles. All those things are little things that matter, uh, that put you in the, uh, the forefront in tech. Because amidst your colleagues, you know, they're looking at it like this person is a guru, like she knows exactly where to go or he knows exactly where to go. So regardless of the option you want to take or the route you want to take, what press has the answer? Oh yes, I wanted to show you my blog. So this is my blog. Uh, now it's mojispeaks.com. But it's still not self-hosted. All I did was buy a domain for $13 and points pointed to this um, blog. So if you type maryjob.wordpress.com, you still get here. And this was done this year. It wasn't done last year. So I write about everything that I w I'd like to inspire people. So I just write. And here you can find six or seven thoughts. I never had that on blog. I didn't even have one. It was a like from a friend. And these people here are people I have built relationships with built relationships with, like I have friends from India, Zimbabwe, we've never met physically, of course, but we're like best buddies, we talk about everything and everything. That's another thing you need to learn to do after you read the instruction manual. If you have a blog, and I come to your blog every day to read, because I like what you write about, and I also have a blog, and you don't return the courtesy, what do you think I'll do at a point? Stop visiting, right? So you want somebody to read your work, but you don't want to read other people's work. So you've read the instruction manual, you're just throwing out the content, throwing out the content. You're just throwing everything out. And you don't want to return the cuts to people who also do the same thing in your field. There's this analogy I use, I don't know if it's the same here. When you go to a typical Nigerian market, all the pepper sellers are in one place. All the yam sellers are in one place. All the whatever sellers are in one place. Is it the same here in your markets? Or they are scattered? Uh, a typical Nigerian market, they are all in one place. And then people will be like, oh, competition, like I don't have to support my competition. Why are they all in one place if they are not making money? Like they must be selling, otherwise they will be stupid to keep coming to the same place. Like they all are in the same place. So you walk there, they're all like smiling at you, like come buy from me, come buy from me. They're all in one place. There is enough in this world to go around. It's just human greediness and selfishness that makes one person want to take everything to themselves. Now, because I live the community at home, I get mails every day asking for, like, can you rec recommend an SEO expert? Can you recommend a developer? Can you recommend somebody who does this? If I was greedy and selfish, what would I do? What would be my response to those mails? Anyone? What will be my response? Let me tell you what my response. Yes, yeah, tell me. Thank you. Yeah, I, me, me, me. Like yes, I can do it. Yes, I can do it. Yes, I can do it. Isn't that what I would do if I was greedy and selfish? We can't afford to be greedy or selfish. There's enough to go around. Sometimes I need money so bad, and I'm like, I can't do this thing. Why not? But because. I don't believe it's ethical to actually say, yes, I can do it. So I put it in a Slack group for everybody to see. Somebody is looking for this. If you know you do this, go contact the person. Except the client specifically says, I want you to do it. Even sometimes when they say, I want you to do it, I still tell them there's somebody who can do it better than I can. Let me end with just this shot. Um, back in those days, big companies, they don't have social media accounts, right? They don't interact, they just put the market out there and probably use the person selling. Even the person selling may not have full knowledge of what they are selling, the person just sells, just sells, just sells. But now, if I told you that I was selling this, what would be your next question? I'm selling this, come buy. Okay. 
How much is it? Okay. What would be your next question? Where can you get it? Any other person? What's it for? Perfect question. Discount. No, I'm not giving you a discount. <laughs> what would you say? Are there other products? Can I answer all those questions by engaging you on social media? Right? Why should I put all that information in my head when I can put it on social media for you to find? I mean, I should know if I was working for the company. But the first place you most likely are going to get look for that information is online, isn't it? So this company is selling this remote. What is it for, self? What am I going to do with it? I love window shopping. For me, it's a great way to know the prices and know about things I want to buy in the future. So the first place you go to get, why do you think they are trying to engage with you by telling you how, what it is for and how to use it and blah, blah, blah. Why do you think they are doing that? We have become information hungry. We live in a digital world now. People want to know why before they commit. Isn't it? They want to be convinced. You can't just tell me to come buy the remote and be using it to change uh, TV stations in my house. I'm like, so why should I buy it? But I have one already. Or I can just press the buttons if I want, right? Give me a good reason why I should buy. So you have to tell people why, how, uh, how much is it, it is this and that, isn't it? Which is why they all have social media accounts and they all have blogs. Back in the day, when you build a website for a company, web developer, yes, when you build a site, did you used to put a blog on it? Back in those days, I mean, those static ones that are just there. Was there a blog on it? What made CMS so popular? Is the blog part of it, right? Because then you get to interact and engage with your audience. That's why CMS is so popular. What press powers how many percent of the internet? Let me see who's going to get that. How many percent of the internet right now? 25? 35? Huh? You said 31. I think the last time I checked it was 30, but I'm not current. So you guys are current. So I agree with you guys. 31 and 35, yes. It's just a matter of people want you to engage with them, regardless of what, what you do. They want you to talk to them and they want to talk back to you. You can't just be posting, posting pictures and expect me to just be okay, like swiping left and right. This is what I tell people when they post in our online communities. You just drop the blog post, spam, and you expect me to click. I won't read. Why would I read? I don't have time to do that. But you could just put a line or two and tell me why I should read. Would I be more inclined to read? Yes, right? My slide, please. Where is it? Yeah, I want to get to the last page. So we all agree that WordPress has a solution for us. If you agree, let me see your hands. Me, I agree like 1,000%. WordPress has a solution. I'm not seeing enough hands. Ah, Haba. It has a solution for everyone. Use it the best way you can.